Next speaker on my list is the distinguished representative of Armenia. Chairperson, first of all, let me congratulate you on your election. Uh, I am sure that your chairmanship will lead the committee to the best possible achievements. Your Excellencies, I represent a country which became a part of UN family of peaceful uses of outer space only in 2012. It would be an exaggeration to say that we have been one of the active members of our committee. But from now on, you will very frequently hear about us, about Armenia, as a very active country engaged in activities towards the peaceful uses of the outer space. And I assure you, you will hear this not only from this platform. I am more than sure that all of you are very well aware of the outstanding unprecedented events taking place in Armenia last year during these very days, as a result of which the people of Armenia on their own will, without shedding any single drop of blood, without violence in the sphere of love and solidarity, formed a new government, which enjoys the super high trust of the citizens of Armenia. After only a year from these fantastic events, the achievements of the Armenian people are obvious. Actually, we have eradicated the systematic corruption. We have already managed to organize two major elections, which were considered to be highly democratic, free, fair, and transparent, organized in accordance with the best practices and universal progressive standards by both uh, the Armenian society and our international partners. Now Armenia has entered into a phase of an economic revolution. State control over business has been minimized. Tax administration has been reduced. The high technologies and industry have been declared priority spheres. As a result, Armenia has been declared by numerous analytical centers to be one of the most convenient countries for IT companies and startups to do business. It is no coincidence that the World Congress on Information Technology will be held in Armenia this fall. Still during the times of being a part of the Soviet Union, Armenia was considered to be a country of microelectronics, microengineering, and advanced technologies. We had companies involved in military and space-related industries and we are among the leading countries engaged in preparation of training of highly professional people in, this, in the field of engineering. And it is no coincidence that now all, also our progressive minds create results. Tens of thousands of programmers, engineers, and other high technologies related technicians work in Armenia having favorable condition. Dear delegates, Taking into consideration the above mentioned, as well as having a clear, clear understanding of the responsibility our state has before the humanity, being con convinced that every state, besides finding solutions for daily social, economic, and political issues, has also a mission to undertake at least a small piece from the overall responsibility for the human progress, I have the honor to state that our government has made a decision to coordinate and liberalize the aerospace industry as well as the provisions, provision of services in the space-related spheres. It has been nearly a year since shortly after the formation of a new government we have started working on the space law. And now the law on space-related activities is in the final stage of our government's discussion and it is likely that by the end of this month, our country will eventually have a law regulating the space-related activities. I would like to particularly emphasize that space-related activities in our country will not be taxed at all. The companies having a license to operate in the space industry will have a complete relief from tax obligations and will be able to concentrate on the scientific, technical, and humanitarian aspects of that activity. Let me repeat. 
If you have a license for being engaged in space-related activities in Armenia, you will have to pay 0% of value-added tax and 0% profit tax. That is why the title of my speech is Armenia, Window to the Space. Armenia now opens new horizons for you, new perspectives. It opens a new window to the space. After the adoption of the space-related laws, the summary on the basic points and provisions will be sent to the delegations. I am more than sure that in the nearest future I will be honored to host many of you in Armenia and to introduce these new wonderful opportunities more thoroughly. I have a strong belief that we are going to have a fruitful cooperation. Please feel free to contact the Armenian delegation for more information. Thank you for your attention. I thank the distinguished representative of Armenia for his statement.